Hello and welcome to TV Yorkshire. I'm Tom Feeney and joined alongside me is the editor of the FBL 72, Tom Carnduff. Tom, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Tom. Well, as we all know, the big game is on Monday. It's Leeds United against Middlesbrough. You can hear full live commentary from six o'clock, live on Radio Yorkshire. And you know what? We're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to predict the game. We're going to predict the result, what's going to happen in the match using FIFA 97. Let's see how we got on. Well, hello and welcome to Elland Road. We are here waiting for the kickoff and the game begins. Leeds United losing the ball early, but a very good slight tackle. I believe that was Alex Mowat. But Middlesbrough get the ball back, but they've lost it. And Leeds United are trying to get something going here, but they've lost it as well. Both sides early on, not doing great with the possession, Tom. I'll talk to you in a sec, but the ball goes to the keeper. And Leeds United are now able to clear. Leeds come forward, though, looking to use both wings. Plays it forward. Is he going to go for the shot? Runs clear. Can he find... No, Ooh, and corner. It's a great tackle there. And Middlesbrough there. That sturdy defence. The corner to be taken now. And they... Well, they whipped it in. And it's a goal! Oh, no, it's not. It's just gone wide. It looked like it might be going in. Just missed the side netting. A great chance for Leeds United. Leeds beating the first man on a corner for the first time in 15 years. The ball comes forward. Long ball over the top for it. Why is he going backwards? He went backwards. Oh, Why did he go backwards? Oh. Oh, Surely right. if Chris Wood was there, he would have gone forward oh, it, and it, it would have been a goal. Nearly ran the ball off the pitch. Middlesbrough, though, nearly losing the ball, but they're able to get it back. They're now working out of their half. They go into the Leeds United half. Really how powerful he, header. He, ch he chested that about 30 yards. Marvellous movement there and the ball is cleared, though, and Leeds United kick the ball out of play for a throw. And Tom, early on, what have you made of it? Cracking open in a minute. Both teams can't really keep hold of the ball. We've uh, seen some attacks. Maybe the Leeds should have really scored that chance instead of uh, putting it wide as they did. I think they rushed the chances a bit, but definitely uh, an entertaining opening minute. What can they do with this? They're just moving it around, trying to get something going. Here. Real midfield battle here, and no one seems to be winning, but Middlesbrough able to get it back now, getting into the final third. Nice pass this. Can they make something from this? It's a real nice pass. Gets into the penalty area. It's a tackle. And it, oh, it looked like it had gone in and it has. Middlesbrough take the lead early on. It's a dream start for the Borough. All to do for Leeds United. Very, very bad opening start to the game for Leeds there. They let Borough attack. Great ball in, great save. Just no one there on the follow-up, leaving him open to come in and tap it in. Not the start Leeds want. And there you go, then the defensive frailty there really on show because Middlesbrough a little bit too easy for them, but Leeds United plenty of time to get something out of this match. Kickoff begins and Leeds United now, the Whites begin again. He's won it and, back. But, and it's gone out. Oh, but it's the, a bit, bit of a midfield battle. I don't quite know who's going to get possession here. But, well, neither team look like they want the ball. <laughs> the rule with football is you keep it with your foot, but they don't seem to want to. Middlesbrough on the ball. No, they've given it away. No one wants possession. Struggling a bit here. Middlesbrough kicking the ball out of play. That's probably the fifth time this game we've seen the team kick the ball out of play when they're attacking. We've seen that already. I don't get what they're doing. You're meant to just pass to your teammates. They seem to want to kick it out of play, both of them. But it, at the moment, it's Middlesbrough who are one goal to the good. A great start for the Borough for the away side. Leeds United then on the ball, trying to clear it out of their half. They're just able to, but yet again, the ball is lost and... If they keep playing like this, Leeds, they're not going to win. If both teams keep playing like this, it's going to be a very long afternoon for us, Tom. Oh, Straight it's away. a slide tackle. Oh, he slid in mid-air. He went for the slide tackle and it just looked like Berardi there. And Middlesbrough kicked the ball out again. I, I don't get why he kicked it out there because he actually had an open goal if he wanted it. He was going to run through, but instead he kicks it out of play 40 yards out. I'm not getting this tactic. I'm quite... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. It's another throw and I think this one's to Borough, though. They'll probably look to throw it and give it away. Middlesbrough now on the ball, about 40 yards out, they give it away. Leeds United give it away. This really is poor possession play. We're in added time now. Can Middlesbrough hold on? Can Leeds United get something back? The ball goes out of play yet again. We're very close now. The referee has looked at his whistle, at his watch even. We're going to see what's going to happen here. Middlesbrough with the throw in. Can Middlesbrough get the goal just before half? No, they've given it away. No. Oh, oh, half and there we go. The That's half time that. whistle goes. Middlesbrough one goal to the good. An early strike. Middlesbrough 1-0 up at half-time at Elland Road. Not the half-time Leeds would have wanted, Tom Feeney. Certainly not, and I think the way you look at it, both sides had that tactic. It 
it seems to be working for Middlesbrough because they're in the lead, but maybe they'd have had a few more chances and you've got to argue Leeds United might have had a chance if they'd have changed their tactics. Both, both teams getting excited by the new rugby league season. They're going for the rugby territory tactic of kicking the ball as far into the opposition half as they can, but it's not working out for Leeds and they'll be looking to, uh, to try and get back into this one in the second half. Well, yeah, let's move away from Headingley and move back to Elland Road where the football will take place. And uh, what do you think both managers will be saying at half-time? Keep the ball. Stop I, kicking it out of play. I completely agree with that. Well, Leeds United then to get underway. No one seems to be making themselves available, which is interesting. But the ball goes into the area and Middlesbrough just able to clear. But Leeds keep possession. They get it into the area. This is a chance oh. for Middlesbrough. Last tackle there. And Middlesbrough have done really well to defend that. Get it out of the penalty area. But Leeds are on the attack here. A really impressive start to the second half by Leeds. It looked like they kicked in out of that play there for no reason, but they've just kept it in. Maybe they caught Middlesbrough out there a bit because they don't seem to know what they're doing. Leeds get into the area, but they've given it away for no reason in particular. And Middlesbrough now break, but Middlesbrough have gone backwards, so Leeds have got the ball back. Leeds with it, and they're about 35, 40 yards out. Again, ball nearly goes out of play, does well to keep it in. Is this going to be a cross? No, it's not. It's a throw-in, and it looks like it's gone to Leeds. Big fan of uh, both teams not rushing in their attacks there. Why take a take a shot from 18 yards out when you can play it back to your own halfway line and build again? Leeds have been doing that very well this half, I think, Tom. They've uh, they've really sprung to life in terms of attacking. Oh, no, no they've kicked it out. Let's, right. Apart from that attack, they've been doing very well. We're about two-thirds of the way through the game now, Tom, and... It looks like Middlesbrough, they'll be happy with this. Yeah, they've got to be careful though. Leeds attacking very dangerously in this opening second half as the ball comes forward. Can't quite keep possession of it. The one thing I've noticed, there's been some reckless tackles in uh, in this game. I'm surprised the ref hasn't given a single free kick or given a card out yet. Yeah, very surprising in the modern day that the referee, uh, some of these tackles are two-footed lunges and the referee just seems to be, well, ignoring it. No, no concern for player safety. No concern for player safety. Couldn't have said it better myself, Cardiff. Ball in now, and it looks like the referee, well, it looked like he was going to give a foul there. Instead, oh. he doesn't. And Middlesbrough are able to break ball into the area. It's a shot on goal, and the goalkeeper just claws it out of the goal, able to make that big save. They're still in it, Leeds. Very impressive catch there, considering it was a point-blank shot. From around 10 yards out, he's done very well to keep hold of that. Yeah, Middlesbrough on the ball, but they nearly give it away. And that oh, was that's a, a bit of a dive. That was a clear dive there by the Middlesbrough player. Can Leeds take full advantage? They're on the corner. It looks like they're just going to be able to whip this in, see who gets it. And they were in the penalty oh. area. They decide to pass it back by 20 yards. I'm not really sure why, but Leeds are going to go for the attack again. They're doing that tactic, Tom. Why have an attack when you can just start a new one anyway? Exactly. There's no point rushing your attacks because you're going to give away the ball. Unless you're 105% sure that you're going to get the shot off, go back into your own half and build again. And it, it's a tactic that could work for Leeds should they get this equalising goal. Anyway, Borough on the ball. It looks like the ball might be kept in. Instead, it goes out for a corner. Do you know what? We're very near the end now. Are Middlesbrough just going to corner the ball and see this game out, Tom? I think they'll go for goal here, try and get that decisive second goal and win it. And we'll wait and see here. He does cross it in. Great and the goalkeeper. Easy claim there for the keeper. Lee's looking to start the attack. Brilliant goalkeeping there. He made sure the defence knew he wanted that ball. It's, he had his name on it and he's been able to collect it. It does look like Leeds United are going to have a chance. They're going to have one final chance, but it's if Middlesbrough will be able to get something as well. But Leeds on the ball now gives it away and we are now in added time we're very near the end of this game it's been a pulsating match this so much on the line the players have given it their absolute all Middlesbrough though with the throwing just inside the Leeds United half yeah very exciting game as you said Tom and that's that and that is that then Leeds United lose 1-0 to Middlesbrough and the man of the match for some reason has gone to Nick Barnby I'm not not really sure what he did today but there you go and so that is how it ended 1-0 to Middlesbrough remember you'll be able to hear that game live on Radio Yorkshire 6 o'clock our coverage starts on Monday Tom how realistic is 1-0 to Middlesbrough? Do you think it could happen? Very realistic result there. I can see Middlesbrough coming in and getting the win. I'm not too sure if it'll be the exact same style of football as we witnessed there. Hopefully both teams will keep hold of the ball and, and take the chances there they get when they get the chance to shoot. So for me, yeah, realistic result. Realistic result. Let's see if that happens. Remember, Radio Yorkshire's 6 o'clock our coverage starts. It's the big one. Leeds United against Middlesbrough live at Elland Road.